Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and I'm a Hatch educator and today we're going to do part two of scallops. If you didn't watch part one you might want to review it to show you how to make a simple scallop and a repeating pattern and this one we're going to turn the scallop into a motif and it's really super easy to do. The first thing we want to do is digitize open shape and we're going to use our grid and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and we want to, I have the crosshairs so we want to line those up and try to be as precise as you can. You can zoom in a little bit. You should be at 600%. I'm not, but you should be. Uh, left click, right click, left click. And depending on what kind of um, motif that you want, let's put on single run or lad satin. I think we want a satin. So if you look here, you'll probably be wondering how on earth do I make a motif because there's nothing up here. The trick is you click on it and it's create motif. You see that it's not there. And then when you click on it, it's there. So if you ever can't find it or something else in Hatch, like for example, the create border or the corners and all that, you have to select the item. So now I've selected it. Let's go to create motif and it wants you to put it in a category. So we could call this um, Sue's motifs or Sue's motif, anything like that. Anything that will help you to remember it. Click OK and there we have it here. And we're going to call this one, um, I already did the, the motif, the first one, so let's call it uh, scalloped edge. And OK, you have an option here to remove functions, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is because it's a pretty simple design. So click OK. And then what it wants you to do is tell it which way you want it to go. So you need to left click. You could do it through the middle or the end. For this one, I'm going to do it in the end. Left click and I'm lining it up as best as I can. Left click. Once you do that, you're telling it where, how you want it lined up. So now it tells you pattern scalp edge has been created in category Sue's motif. Awesome. So let's delete that. Let's do digitize close shape and I want it on single run and I'm just going to show you how it works. So what I want to do here is make a circle. So I'm just, you know, just going to rough it out. It doesn't even have to be a perfect circle. Let's just do a circle. That one looks pretty good. I will bring it down a little bit more. Maybe one more. I'm just eyeballing it and match it up there. And we have our circle. Hit enter. Now I just left it on single run, but now I want to tr try my motif. And I can see if I hover over it, see how it says that? Sue's motif, scalloped edge. So I know it's exactly right. Click on it and voila, you have your scalloped edge. Now you can make the motif bigger or smaller depending on what you're doing, but because you're working, you know, with an EMB file, you can make it bigger or smaller and you can, you know, change it around as much as you'd like. You could get really fancy and add, you know, a running stitch connection and then something in between and a running stitch connection. So when it's stitched completely out, that it would, you know, be one fluid movement all the way around without jump stitches. So you do have to be careful how you do it. But that is how you create a scalloped edge motif to go around in a circle here inside Hatch Embroidery Software. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.